Hello, this is a bit of an unusual video, but I've been analyzing the responsiveness of different dance games. I mean, how quickly the game responds to your input. I'll go through a few examples real quick and explain more about the analysis afterwards. Alright, this is IKG Mania on Linux on a 260Hz monitor. Um, frame 165, the panel lit up. Then frame 169, the game responded. Alright, let's look at another one. 345, the down arrow lit up. And then frame 349, the game responded. So that's four frames again. The camera I'm using is a Samsung S10e, which can do 960 frames per second recording. It's a phone from 2020 since phones from recent years started doing fake AI generated frames. It's pretty terrible. But this means with 960 FPS, there is a new frame every 1.041 milliseconds. The step delay we just saw was 4 frames. That means the lower and upper bounds for the step delay is 3.123 to 5.205 milliseconds. All right, let's look at one more ITG Mania on Linux again. Um, 519, the up arrow lit up. And then 523, the game responded. Now I want to compare with Windows. So this is the same computer, same stack boards for I.O., just different partition running Windows. Okay, so we got frame 667, the panel lit up, and step through the frames. Frame 677, the game responded. So that's 10 whole frames later. Before going into the significance of 10 frames versus 4 frames, I want to get some intuition on how the bounds are calculated given the FPS resolution. For a simplified example, Assume the camera is 1000 FPS, which means there is 1 millisecond between each frame. Here I have captured 9 frames. On frame 2, the panel lights up. In frame 6, the game updates. In the worst case, the real time the panel lit up was 1.01 .01 milliseconds, and the game updated a nanosecond before frame 6, 5.99. In that case, the step delay was 5 milliseconds. In the best case, the real time the panel lit up was a nanosecond before frame 2, so time 1.99, and the game updated almost a whole frame before frame 6. That creates bounds of 3 to 5 milliseconds. They end up being plus or minus the time between each frame. Let's go back to considering ITG Mania Windows frame analysis. 10 frames at 960 FPS is 10.41 milliseconds. That gives bounds of 9.369, nice, to 11.451. Compared to the bounds of Linux step delay, Linux is between 4.164 and 8.328 milliseconds faster than Windows. This can be narrowed down further by taking more samples and doing some statistical analysis, but this is more than enough to definitively say there is more lag on Windows compared with Linux. That conclusion is the main reason for this video, but I was curious about other dance games since I have a fast camera. Let's have a look at Pump It Up Phoenix. Shout out to Crystal for performance testing Phoenix for me. Right here, it's a little hard to see, but frame 51 was when the panel lit up. And now we're stepping frame 115 we got a response from the game. So 115 minus 51, that's 64 frames, which comes out to about 66 milliseconds of delay, which is pretty rough compared to ITG, which was somewhere around four milliseconds. If you're guessing, does it get worse from here? You bet. Here I'm playing DDR World on a white cab. For whatever reason, there's no pad lights. So we have to estimate about when we would have expected the panel to light up. All right, let's call it 173. Sensor was probably triggered. Stepping through the frames. Here we are like an eternity later. 
and frame 251 finally got the game to respond. So 251 minus 173 is 78, and that gives 81 milliseconds of delay. Next up is SMX. One thing I noticed is we can't really use the pad lights because they have a lot of lag themselves. So we kind of got to estimate again when like it's a reasonable time that the panel should have been um, triggered. All right, my foot's touching the panel. Let's give it a few milliseconds. Let's say 369 nice is when like it definitely was pressed. And then let's wait an eternity. Keep going, keep going, and here, 444, the game responded. Go run through the calculation again, 444 minus 369 is 75 frames, and that gives us 78 milliseconds of delay. For the final dance game to analyze in this video, it's time to look at the gold standard, DDR Gold Cap. So just like SMX, the pad light is very laggy so we got to just look at my feet to take a guess at when the sensor was triggered let's say about frame 58 that looks good all right step through the monitor only running at 60 hertz is not doing it any favors but that just means there's a variance of about 16 milliseconds between every frame. Um, so we gotta wait all the way until frame 155 to get a response from the game. So 155 minus 58, that was 97 frames for a whole 100 milliseconds of delay. Damn. Like even if you be really conservative with when the sensor was triggered you gotta can't even add more than like 10 milliseconds so we're looking at at least 90 milliseconds of delay for sure all right well that's all i have for now hope you liked the video and hope it was a bit informative you know i was thinking itg mini on linux could be even faster if i switch to a 480 hertz monitor or one of the 900s a faster monitor should be able to bring down the step delay to 2 or 3 milliseconds.